Hi, this is Chiran Jeevi. Now I am going to discuss about coupling reactions which are very important in the sense of CSI or NET exams. Okay, in the following coupling reactions, so we can expect at least one of this coupling reaction in the every CSI or NET exam. Okay, that's why these coupling reactions are very important. So now we are going to discuss about these coupling reactions. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about Suzuki coupling reaction. Okay. So in the Suzuki coupling reactions, alkyl buranes, when reacted with aryl or aliphatic halides, in the presence of palladium catalyst and basic conditions, that is, bases are used as reagents and we can get alkyl and aryl or aliphatic uh, coupling compound okay so here aryl halide reacting with alkyl or alkenyl boranes in presence of palladium catalyst and base so we have uh, this compound and which have the new bond between the aryl group and alkenyl group okay right and uh, how is the mechanism right so in the first step palladium in its zero oxidation state and when this uh, catalyst reacted with so i am giving here is a generalized mechanism and alkyl halide okay so or aryl halide right so this alkyl halide and uh, reacted with palladium and it forms alkyl palladium uh, halo complex okay so this is oxidative addition so what is the meaning of oxidative addition okay so here is a palladium in zero oxidation state and here it gets plus two oxidation state okay and this total uh, organic molecule inserted into the palladium okay so this is oxidative addition in oxidative addition coordination number and uh, oxidation state increased by two okay remember in oxidative addition coordination number of the metal and metal palladium and uh, oxidation number increases by two so this is simply oxidative addition and so tertiary uh, sodium tertiary butoxide and it so tertiary butoxide uh, inserted into the palladium in the place of halogen group X okay and the soda NaX NaX is removed out and we get this comp right so here is takes place of transmetallation so here the boron alkanes okay the boron R1 is the alkyl group which is going to couple with R2 which is already present cup uh, present with palladium okay so if bore alkyl borane on sodium tertiary butoxide so tertiary what is the function of tertiary butoxide here so this tertiary butoxide activates boranes to, uh, for the uh, transmetallation of r1 to the r2 of this palladium complex okay that is the function of uh, this base tertiary butoxide okay so here is the take place, takes place of transmetallation so what is the meaning of transmetallation so uh, here is a palladium uh, the ligand transfer or ligand exchange or ligand transfer between the two um, metal complexes so that means simply transmetallation okay so from the boron to uh, palladium the ligands are exchanged so that's why transmit this is called as transmetallation and after transmetallation we get this compound okay and uh, this compound on reductive elimination so palladium converts into palladium and we get the coupled organic compound r1 and r2 so this is uh, mechanism involved in Suzuki coupling so what is happened what is the reductive elimination in reductive elimination um, the coordination number and uh, uh, oxidation state decreased by 2 so that is simply called reductive elimination so in oxidative, oxidative addition oxidation number and coordination number increased by 2 in reductive elimination oxidation number and coordination number decreased by 2 Okay, remember this one. So this is about Suzuki coupling. So just check the 
example and in suzuki coupling the stereochemistry is simply uh, resembles with the uh, stereochemistry of reactants okay so that is the uh, suzuki coupling right next important uh, coupling is stele coupling so in a stele coupling reactions alkyl stannanes plus aryl aliphatic halides reacted and in presence of palladium catalyst okay and will get alkyl and aryl or aliphatic organic compound with a new bond so this is coupled by the palladium catalyst okay so in this uh, stele coupling we should remember uh, stannanes stannanes are reacting with aryl or aliphatic halide so this is the uh, difference between the uh, suzuki coupling and what is the uh, difference between suzuki coupling and stele coupling in stele coupling we are using stannanes in suzuki coupling we used alkyl boranes remember that one okay so example i am giving here this is the example and we we get here a new bond new single bond is formed between this moiety and this moiety okay in the presence of palladium catalyst okay so mechanism so this palladium at its a uh, zero oxidation state by the x radio addition uh, or this is alkyl halide group or anything okay r is anything of alkyl compounds x radio addition so we we get uh, this one and on transmetallation so here is the transmetallation is takes place trialkyl tin and uh, another alkyl group tetraalkyl tin and on exchange with the trialkyl tin halide and this r1 okay r1 is um, exchanged to the palladium so that's why here is a, here is the transmetallation is occurred and we get this compound and on further trans cis isomerization we can get this one to eliminate easily so this trans compound this trans alkyl alkyl groups are converted into cis and further reductive elimination so reductive elimination we get uh, this compound and uh, again the palladium catalyst okay so this is a still a coupling reaction so what is um, what should we remember the stan names so this is the important thing a uh, tin alkyl compounds undergoes uh, still a coupling with aryl or aliphatic halides already explained oxidative addition uh, what is oxidative addition and reductive elimination okay i next negishi coupling so negishi coupling in negishi coupling argano halides or triflates argano halides or triflates react with argano zinc compounds argano zinc compounds in presence of nickel catalyst or palladium catalyst and here is the formation of new single bond between uh, two organic compounds okay example is this and check it out so zinc uh, zinc compounds argano compounds reacting with argano halides or triflates and uh, iron in presence of nickel or palladium catalyst so we can get so new uh, bonded alkyl groups alkyl compounds okay so this is negishi coupling so negishi coupling is also having same mechanism as still a coupling reaction so it it uh, negishi coupling also have oxidative addition transmetallation and trans cis isomerization and reductive elimination okay so this is negishi coupling so here is also in these two coupling reactions also the stereochemistry of the product only depends on the stereochemistry of the reactants okay so there is no change in the uh, stereochemistry of the uh, it resembles the stereochemistry of the reactants in the product okay so this is about a still a coupling reaction and uh, next one next one heck coupling unsaturated halides or triflates are reacted with alkenes in presence of palladium catalyst and base so formation of unsaturated compounds and alkene uh, alkene compound with a new single bond between them okay this coupling is takes place in presence of palladium catalyst and base and this coupling is takes place in between alkenes alkenes and unsaturated halides are triflates okay this is the example check it out and mechanism so in the mechanism palladium in its zero oxidation state reacted with the so alkene nil ion halides on oxidative addition and we get uh, this compound and further so here is a further addition of this alkenyl compound alkenyl comp unsaturated comp compound uh, to the palladium uh, due to formation of 
uh, pi complex is takes place here is a formation of pi complex so this is pi complex so pi complex takes place and further so uh, this uh, alkene alkene reacted with the uh, new alkene which is attached to the palladium and uh, this is syn addition takes place and we get this compound and further a uh, new palladium alkene pi complex is formed so this is new palladium pi complexes it is formed by the uh, this hydrogen is shifted towards the palladium and this bond uh, the, the double bond is formed uh, to the uh, new which is attached here alkyne compound okay alkene compound right and further this new palladium alkene pi complex a uh, further reductive elimination so reductive elimination and we get trans compound okay so this is trans compound and further uh, removal of hydrogen iodide and we get um, uh, our primary product that is palladium catalyst initial initial catalyst palladium okay so here is the, the new sigma bond which is formed in the heck reaction uh, should be in trans position so this is the main important thing we should remember okay so this is about heck reaction or heck coupling next sonagashira coupling so in sonagashira coupling terminal alkynes reacted with aryl or vinyl halides in presence of palladium and copper catalyst and base so we get terminal alkynes and aryl vinyl compound uh, connected with a single bond so this is the new bond which is formed between them okay so this is an example for i'm giving here uh, for sonagashira coupling reaction okay so what what is a mechanism so in the mechanism a palladium in its zero oxidation state um, by the oxidative addition with the alkyl halides and formation of this compound takes place and further transmetallation so this transmetallation the alkyne terminal alkyne terminal alkyne reacted with the copper and it forms a pi complex and further um, reacting with base and we here is the formation of copper plus copper plus and minus so alkyne alkyne anion okay and this on transmetallation so we are going, going to get this compound so on further trans cis isomerization so here is the trans form it is converted into cis form okay cis form and the two easily eliminate so for to get uh, easy easy react to elimination the trans isomer converted into cis isomer and uh, further on reductive elimination so we get so new uh, sigma bonded new single bonded uh, coupling in between these two alkyl compounds okay right so and further so we get initial palladium catalyst so this is sonagashira coupling in sonagashira coupling uh, terminal alkynes reacted with the alkyl halides in presence of palladium and copper catalyst and base so we can get a new bond a new single bond between the terminal alkyne and alkyl halide so this is sunagashira coupling thank you if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and encourage me to upload more and more thank you